Oh man. Here we go. Oh man. Oh my god. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna give another shot at surf fishing today because I'm still just having too much fun trying it out. But it's a beautiful day. I'm out in uh, St. Pete and I waited until the evening because obviously there's tourists everywhere. So it looks like I found quite a bit of wide open space if you wanna check this out. Plenty of open spots to find a spot to set up so let's set up a spot try to catch some pompano whiting anything else is biting all right guys i'm gonna get a little piece of fish gum and a little piece of shrimp on all of these here and then if i catch a fish that looks like a good bait fish for sharks then i'll toss that out there too Oh, by the way, got a new reel, reel and rod here. That is the Penn Spin Fisher 5500. And this is the Offshore Angler Breakwater 11 foot. It's like my first legit surf setup. It's pretty sweet. The Offshore Angler is Bass Pro Shops brand. But I heard that Penn makes them. And they've got Fuji rings and it feels really good. So, so far I really like it. Of course I've only used it like twice, but I'll, I definitely like it. The reel is awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man. Oh. Did it come off? Nope, it's still on. There we go. There we go. Dang, I was trying to get that other one cast it out and this thing went nuts stay on stay on what we got we got a Jack Cravel <laughs> All right, guys, I said I wanted to catch shark bait, and there it is. All right, guys, this unlucky guy here has volunteered himself to be shark bait. So I'm going to cast out first the head portion and see if we can hook it to a shark. There we go. There we go. Oh. No, it's still on. It's still on. There we go. Ah, it came off. No, it didn't. 
Okay. I think this is a bonefish. I forgot to talk. I was <laughs> confused by what it was. It looks like a mullet, but then I think it's a baby bonefish. I'm not sure. Leave a comment in the comment section if this is a bonefish. I have no idea. All right. I'll see you later, dude. I mean, it fought really strong for how small it is. Okay, so do what I'm doing. I'm attempting to catch a big shark and I have no experience with this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to be safe and just have fun but uh, if I was to do it myself or if you would do it I would get like an actual professional level. But I've got two chunks of Jack Ravel out there. We'll see what happens. There it is. Oh man. Here we go. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> here we go oh my god this is the first time i've ever hooked into anything like this i think This is 30 pound test, so I gotta be careful. Oh man, this is... This is unreal. Did it come off? No. Alright. I got the dehooker near me. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, man. Looks like something big. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the biggest thing I've ever hooked into. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a shoe. Oh, man. How far out is it? Uh, probably... Uh, maybe 75 yards. Could you hand me that de hooker by you? I appreciate it. Oh, no worries. Thank you. All right, we're going for a ride, guys.
All right. Oh, man. There it is. I see it. Black tip shark. Oh, my God. Oh, this is my first actual size shark this is insane oh i'm gonna try not to go to the emergency room again <laughs> oh man all right come here buddy Buddy. <laughs> All right. Don't get Don't get anywhere near him. All right, let me get where you're at. There he goes. He's good. Man. Good job. I, all right, guys. That was my first shark. What a rush. Like, that's insane. Uh, it's probably like four foot long, maybe 30, 40 pounds. Strong. Like, I did not realize how freaking strong they are. Uh, way stronger than like a big black drum or something. It's like a solid muscle. And, uh, I'm gonna study more on like how to protect myself better, how to protect the shark better. Since that was my first one, I was a little inexperienced, but uh, definitely wanna study up on that, make sure I know how to keep people safe around me, keep me safe, keep the shark safe, release them safely back into the water. And, uh, but man, that was awesome. 